Right, this is not a bad deal, Donna, for students making plans to become educators later, and not just any place, but in their home school district. But there are strings attached. They must commit to the school system for every year they get this money. I think it's a fantastic program. At Arondo High School in Gambrill, watching young students walk across the stage for graduation is a really proud moment. Adriel Watt is meeting with a small group of 12th graders in the media center. Students with their sights set on a career in education. Um, I want to do middle school. I want to kind of get the uh, middle range, trying to get the kids before they decide what they want to do. And now the school system is putting up scholarship money to help these 12th graders realize their dream. I think it's going to help a lot of kids who want to become teachers in the county. I would like to teach and I would like to also coach here. I mean, college is already really expensive, but I think it would help a lot, you know. Adria Watt can speak from experience. The former graduate is now a teacher here and says there's just no place like home. Is there a pride piece in this? Definitely, yeah. It's a wonderful school. I'm really proud of it. I'm, I feel strongly about it. It's great to be back here. And she's not the only alumni back on familiar ground. So is he four against okay. We call up with Frank Hood and Matt Matheny. When I was in school, I wanted to be a snowboarding, you know, astronaut, right? Former students turned teachers. The county school board president says this is proof the new scholarship is a no-brainer. I mean, the student can go away to college, they'll have their tuition covered, and they'll know that they have a job when they finish. They don't even have to worry about anything other than selecting the school. The school system will offer its first scholarship next fall, and administrators doubt they'll have a problem finding applicants. I actually was already planning on coming back to teach here, uh, and the fact that there's a scholarship for that now is amazing. Money raised for the scholarship program will not come out of the county budget, but rather from generous private donors and local residents. Now the county figures it'll need $250,000. So far, it's raised a little more than $15,000. To find out more about the teacher scholarship program, go to our website, WBALTV.com, and look for Education Alert. Live in the 11 Newsroom, Tim Tootin, WBAL TV 11 News. That's a good deal.